level one sandstorm where you don't have it constantly up could be helpful. Our mid lane matchup, well, we're going to watch bottom a little bit real quick first, just to make sure that uh, Miracle's going to be okay, because he may not be. He's going to be followed into the trees. Nice block there. Cutting down the tree to be able to get just in front of Miracle. Blocking pretty decently below 50%. Mind control at the top lane is going to be in trouble here. GH, not a ton he can do. Just throws out some damage, but it's not enough to force so bad back. He comes in. Go, go get my <laughs> items for me. They're back at the Courier oh, at the Tier 2 tower. So a lot of stacks being done here. One of the things Cuddle, of course, well known for. Rubik trying to come in, blocks one of them, but not the other, and may actually have overcommitted here. Definitely has. So, it. you've got all this information about the stacks. For me, cannot... I think both teams are realizing how important they are. They're rotating DK in for this one. We high into trouble. Yeah, I'm... Bit surprised they're trying to be so aggressive on the side of Nigma without pulling their Sand King into this situation. Yeah. Looks like Mind Control had rotated mid, but he didn't have. Perhaps. I mean, that wasn't even the DK. He wasn't the reason Pugna died there. Like, no. Uh, perhaps. Oh, here we go. Go for it, though. Up. Pasha, yeah. see if they can blow him up with all this magic damage. It's not quite enough until the blast comes in from GH. It did cost them a number of ultimates there the Epicenter as well as the Will of Wisp. It keeps the Tier 1 alive and quite likely sets you up to take the enemy Tier 1. Weehaw's here to run it back. If I know anything about Weehaw, deaths do not deter him. He's going to keep playing this way. Now that he's got his team to back him up, it's going to be a lot more successful. They'll take that mid tower and claim the Rubik's life as well. Yeah, and it's all really on mind control in some ways. It feels like his Sand King having that early blink dagger. They're making this play bottom without him, but with the nightmare setup, they've got more than enough damage to kill off a support edge. Of course, if they constantly maintain a 2-1-2, that's exactly where Bane is. You've seen this one in the, the Radiant Jungle that's not on the main cliff, but oh, on the yeah. side, so the sentry doesn't see it. <laughs> you need some it, actual high ground vision or fly courier over there or something to be able to spot that ward, yeah. and that actually saves Magical's life. It's pretty crazy how value supports are that have a way to scout Pasha! Place. Did he just juke him out? He managed to juke back yep. into the trees, but Crystallize is going to be the target from Nygma instead, and they're going to turn back knowing that Pasha juke somewhere over there. Magical is going to show himself, but not quite enough to be able to finish off Miracle here. He tries to lay down, but now he's been caught in the Fiend's grip. A double stun by Control. It's going to be able to catch him with the Epicenter. Not quite enough to finish off Magical, though. He gets a helping hand from Sobad with the Telekinesis and the Chakra Magic he stole earlier. Pasha still very tanky, but they're going to focus all their magic damage on him now that he's been isolated away so close to Nigma, like almost wiping Navi if they'd finished off magical very aggressive but he has done a good job of stopping DK pushes bottom lane my control tries to go for a kill onto the enchantress but finds four heroes instead from <laughs> Navi quick fingers by Rubik stealing the bar strike really nicely done simply because you're kind of closing in on bloodstone for magical crystallize is getting a tower and doesn't have BKB yet so I'm surprised they're getting heroes that are close enough to get caught like this in the first place if they're not actually going to take a team fight. Pasha, easily surrounded by so many heroes. Now Crystallize has blown his Eclipse. Hasn't actually killed anybody just yet. A Burrow Strike comes out from my control. Blown him up even further. So bad with a Stolen Burrow Strike now. Has Stolen Life Drain, but he may not get the chance to use it as the magic damage is too much for him to handle. While everyone is low, or at least a bit low on the side of Nigma. nobody is actually finished off. Magical couldn't quite kill him. Yeah, I think... Nigma just have way too much team fight with the Will S and Y earlier, but this item can both turn into the Silver Edge against the DK, but also is a really good pickoff item for when this Storm Spirit is split pushing. Mind Control finds an opening stun onto the Luna at first while the Storm Spirit tries to jump in, but it's immediately Nightmare. It stalled up a little bit. He has the damage to finish off this Bane, but the trade off for this Luna is certainly not worth it as that magic damage overwhelms her HP pool pretty quickly, and Miracle's not going to back down. He starts stealing away some stats from Pasha. Because knowing that he's got Mind Control and GH that can output the damage for him that they need. All that magic damage against DK, armor and regen doesn't do a damn thing for him. Weeha even finds Ilias on the back side as well. And it's going to be three dead on the side of Na'Vi. And all they traded away was Curl. So I thought maybe they'd go for a smoke or something, but... Crystallize. He's already dangerous. far enough behind. They're going to lead off. Okay, that's a decent Lucent Beam into a Centaur Stun with the Storm jumping in. They can't quite finish off Kuro just yet. His life is going to be stalled out quite a bit, thanks in part to Weeha with a nice life drain. Miracle getting in. A nice three-man so strike out from my control. Really nicely done with the grip onto Pasha. Pasha is going to die to that Brain Sap, and Kuro stays alive. Oh. Jump back in. The Eclipse is not enough to finish off my control as he uses the Yule Scepter to be able to dodge all of that damage. And Storm is dead. 
Storm gets caught by Mind Control at the end, too. So, a beautiful team fight from Nygma. No Lower the cooldown of Burrow Strike, but will is such a long-range AoE disable that it can follow up a Burrow Strike initiation really nicely. Make sure they don't get off those BKBs. We're gonna watch Pasha up into the high ground, and down he goes. Nygma, really well positioned, completely block Na'Vi as they try and rotate in, losing two before they escape by that smoke rotation. Nygma, though, they're gonna try and catch into the mid lane instead. They do so, so bad. He managed to get the deny on the tower, so it may have actually been worth his life, considering that hefty bounty that was both given to Na'Vi and taken away from Nygma, but they need to make sure Crystallize doesn't die. GH, well, he's got the will to follow up onto that pounce. Here comes Mind Control with all that magic damage. The Epicenter Burrow Strike blows the Luna up pretty easily. Magical actually gets caught, doesn't get a zip away, and now quite low on mana as well. He's gonna die before he wakes back up from all those disables. Oh boy, that, 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 that moment there feels like that's kind of the nail in the coffin. Luna, 200 gold from BKB gets picked off. Storm trying to bail her out. Dives in, gets picked off as well. She's going to be able to repair this 18,000 net worth lead that Nygma has built up. And now if they can catch the DK, they can probably go high ground again. Yep. Maybe even just force the GG call Pasha. Spending a little bit of time in the jungle is going to be found by Weeha. No chance at a blink away. And well, maybe he actually can. Nobody there from Nygma. Weeha, blink for blink, but Pasha does allude to the left, spotted by Miracle, though, thanks in part to that nighttime vision that he's got. And they'll stop the TP with a pounce pretty easily. Instantly, Arya, so they're just going to look to keep on fighting and not letting Na'Vi finish these BKBs. Well, I felt like I was talking about the BKB timing for 15 minutes and crystallized. Well, he finally has it. Can he actually win a fight off of it? Eclipse goes down. They're going to focus on Weeha first, but a nightmare out from Curl. Now the Fiend's grip onto Crystallize. going to hold him in place, and Weeha escapes. No kills to be found, and a death is the only thing that awaits. So bad. Nice use of the Burrow Strike to get away. Back to the fountain. No, he can't quite make it. It's only magical, so they're just going to call it here. GG. Nygma taking this first game. Yeah, good sign for the Nygma squad. They come out strong. Very dominant performance. Um, you know, the first minutes it wasn't like... Game of the DK. Looks like we are going to have some normal lanes. Nice spear from Mind Control. That's just going to be a bit of damage here. That's forcing him to spin as well as the two bad. Really good damage early on. They're going to go for it. They're really going to dive. They don't have the brain sap up yet, but it looks like just the auto attacks are good enough. Kuro gets the first blood into the Breathe Fire. They can get some body blocks here. They'd definitely be a kill. They save the Dragon Tail until Miracle is surely dead. Not enough time to be able to teleport out. And well done. They needed a kill like that. They supports and go into a dual lane themselves. Yeah, I can't imagine Phoenix is super happy about sitting in a tri lane for very long. That is no. a very level dependent support. Yeah, and surprisingly, we saw a bit earlier uh, pop up. GH yet hasn't won a game this season on Phoenix. Zero and three, so not to hear Enigma's hello. Success nice on rotation, Ilias. Oh, oh it's no. not going to be quite enough to save Magical's life, okay. though. Fortunately, Weeha does die, but in a bad matchup. Bottom lane, Pasha in some trouble here. Sprouted up, surrounded by Treants as well. Nowhere to run to. Tries to go the other direction. Blocked up still. Takes a pit stop to Dragon Tail, stun up Miracle, and gets enough space to be able to pop the healing sound, but it doesn't last for long. In oh, fact, no. he picks up his Soul Ring, but loses his Courier. Now they turn back for Sobad, who is not nearly as tanky as Pasha. He won't manage to make it out of that Sprout Trap. Up a bit further. He's got the angle to definitely hit the Aether Remnant. They now. just need a little bit of nukes to follow it up. Waiting for that range creep attempt, maybe. I mean, they can't wait for long. There's just a lot of wasted time for Miracle. They're finally going to pull the trigger here and get the kill. So Magical can return to his lane if he wants, though honestly, it feels like he's just looking for excuses. At this point. It feels a little bit how I was describing Gambit in that first game, where it's like, okay, their rotations and stuff are good, and they're making the right play, but ultimately they're just in a bad situation because yeah. of their draft. Their lane's not going so hot, so bad he's going to be burned out. You are on fire! <laughs> I never noticed that description before a burning juggernaut who's already been oppressed enough in his laning phase. He's not even level 6 yet, so... That's where this Husker pick feels amazing because it's shutting down the key playmaker of Na'Vi. Like, oh, that's really nice. The spin yeah. into the Inkswell stun should be enough to be able to get the kill onto Mind Control. He's being kept alive off the Sun Ray, but there's no way out of this situation. He's put himself in. Miracle, he's going to show himself, but he needs Vision of Crystallize to get the uh, Wrath of Nature to hit. 
He does manage to get a block there and cancels some of the healing south, though. Most of the damage is already done. The Husker is going to come out. in now to be able to clean up on not one support, but two. Ilias, he pops the ink swell, hoping to survive long enough for it to explode. Maybe do a little damage, but ultimately he's very, very dead. Focus a little bit more, because I was seeing him buying up Null Talismans. I'm like, dog, you got to get a Spirit Vessel stat. Top lane, he's going to try and make a go here on a Miracle. Definitely a really big kill if they can get it, but Ilias, he may be the turnaround here. Miracle is able to kill him. Oh, Goes no with the teleport out. No, he's too tanky. Blade Mail, man. What a value item in this game. That armor, maybe different ancient camps when you have the advantage. Girl. Spin over, crystallize. He will manage to get that bounty rune, but at the same time, it looks like Huskar's locked on to a kill. We're going to watch Kuro die at the same time. Maybe Magical's going to get caught. He uh, dies away. Oh no, the spear! It caught him. Nice blind spear for mind control through the trees, catches them out. And the three cores show up, bringing down the mid of Navi. Disappointed. Yeah. I think Nigma just happy to control the farm on the map with the Aegis. They showed no intent of pushing high ground. Mars in some trouble here. There's the blink deck from Pasha showing up to secure the kill and insta TP out. They know they cannot take this fight, and luckily there's no TP cancels. Yeah, there's only Huskar, so. Weeha is ready to take any fight that is offered. Mask. Crystallize in some trouble. Gets silenced and spin going off, but it's not good enough. Oh, they found him with the Mask of Madness on. Still is generally like, it's okay on some certain heroes, but I see so many just passing it up. Definitely feels like uh, we're going to watch Miracle die here. Nice pick up from Navi. I like that they're getting aggressive now. Uh, earlier, and so yeah. now it's only 3k up. I think they have done a good job with this Rubik especially, just keeping these lanes shoved out. That's why Sobad's net worth is actually rather high this game. He's just been the one going to these quote-unquote dead lanes where... Oh just... no, the telekinesis it didn't hit Miracle! The drop down. Oh. If it had, maybe he could have just uh, used the teleport to get out. Spotted again. Probably gonna die here unless he can really shoot him into these trees, but still. <laughs> is that a... a lot of space. What's the item that does damage over time on Prophet? Yeah, he's got the dra dragon scale kill. That yeah. sort of <laughs> I was like, what's he dying to there? No stuns here unless the spear. Oh. The spear gets there in time before the TP can be completed. Same goes with the Fiend's Grip. Very likely, Enigma will be far enough, far enough ahead in this game that it'll be irrecoverable. Magical jumping in with the ink swell, but has to bounce away. With the Dissimulate, they have that Soulbind on two but not a ton of single target abilities to use with it, especially with the Dragonite just now coming back up. Did force we has BKB and they really want to catch him out it seems. Jump it again, Nightmare dodging the Inkswell stun, nicely played by Kuro, now stuck inside the arena because he blew all his Astral Steps and no way out. Fortunately the Desolator makes mincemeat out of this Mars. He's on the high ground now with Pasha going back in. Can he get through this Sprout and get on top of some of these heroes with the Inkswell stun? He'll manage to throw that out with a stolen Sunray out from Sobat. He's doing a good job keeping this damage onto Weehaw, but it's not quite enough to finish him off. Fortunately, Crystallize doing all the heavy lifting as he is ripping apart heroes right now. This Desolator doing so much work. And Weehaw, oh, please tell me they have a stun. They don't. Oh. The Aether Remnant will come out too late. All right, if I'm Navi, this time around, I'm asking Pasha. Do exactly the same that Magical did. Just dive in and utilize a buyback here. Because they're going to need those extra numbers against that Aegis. This early initiation not going so well. My control is already yeah. dead. And they're going to manage to get away from the Supernova pretty well. Unless Crystallize. Oh, oh no, grip. he's stuck in the Fiend's grip. Didn't spot that one until it was too late. Crystallize not having the buyback. They needed Pasha to be the one to die. Unfortunately, now without their damage. Doesn't look like they have a great way All right, to blink in and stun, but Weeha too quick with the fingers, activates his BKB. And even if he did catch him, he's got Heaven Talbert, he's got Sunray behind him, and he's got an Aegis ultimately. Lead in, Telekinesis into the Aether Remnant. Soulbind going out. Once again, the Nightmare doing a good job disjointing some of that damage. They do take away that Aegis, Can and they do maybe kill Miracle. No, they didn't turn around and kill him. He activates the Cheese, and Miracle, he'll finish off this Range Rax with the help of Weeha who ultimately uses the life break just to try and lower his HP a little bit lower so he can attack faster. They do have a nice stolen spear, but it's going to cost so bad his life probably. He's trying to limp away, dissimulate, doing some damage, but he has to get away from all these heroes, especially away from Weeha with no Astral Step for another 10 seconds. This Weeha Huskar should make 
Easy work of him, unless Sage to the rescue. Looks like Crystallize almost able to finish him off. A nightmare save once again. Weeha almost dead. Crystallize finally gets him. Activates the spin and goes for Miracle up next. Miracle, a heavy hitter though. Can't stand up against that physical damage for long. Pasha, same problem here. A Sprout combo with Mind Control, who hits the Spear of Mars. Only two alive now with a buyback coming out from uh, Ilias. Him and... Uh, him and Magical, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to stop a second lane. Uh, once your ultimates are all up, I think you, you go for it. Don't let him do this. They do manage to save Chris Lies from that Fiend's Grip, and he gets off the spin. He'll be alive. Unfortunately, the two that look to bail him out so bad in Pasha, they both go down, and that's now an opportunity for Nygma. Yeah. You go for the high ground for it, push. Yeah. Yeah. How to get that second lane without an Aegis Jesus, just take a good team fight. Even though the Fiend's Grip gets cancelled, it sets up the Mars to get off a good arena. And that's something I think Mind Control struggled with, being this insta-blink initiator. He kept getting, like, scouted or insta-lifted when he blinked in, so... Do have a lot of AoE burst here. Magical's gonna come in with his fresh Aghanim Scepter and throws out those resonant pulses, making sure that Kuro can't get any spells off. Unfortunately, they just don't have the damage. Get demolished so quickly. Crystallize. All damage there with the Desolator, but uh, once he comes down from an Omni Slash... He just gets ripped apart by these Nygma members. Pretty clean.